house ornaments out of old broken down furniture. That's what we're making today. See the broken foot? I kept trying to glue it on and I never could get it to work. It shouldn't be thrown away. You can't use it as a table. I tried, believe me. It's just furniture that got kind of jacked up, but now we're gonna turn it into Christmas ornaments. So, so yeah, just cut them up. You want just like random pieces, just long and skinny and some short and some little ones so that you have a bunch of things to work with. Start by cutting an assortment of shapes with a saw. Look for table legs, spindles, and turned wood pieces in a variety of shapes and sizes. You want to put them together like and just start playing with it. I kind of got obsessed with this. I was like stacking and recalculating for like an hour. In the beginning it seems kind of overwhelming and you're like, ah, I don't know which way to do it. And once you get your pieces the way you want it, you want to use wood glue. I'm thinking now after I did it that it would have been better to use the screws that are screws on both ends. But this is what I had, so this is what I used. Experiment with the shapes you have cut out. And once you're happy with your design, number your pieces so that you don't forget the order. And then glue them together with carpenter's glue. 50% Main Harbor Blue and 50% Emerald Isle and we're going to mix them together and it makes this awesome, it's like a deep dark teal color. Mix 50% Main Harbor Blue and 50% Emerald Isle and you'll get the most amazing deep shade of teal. Now paint your ornaments in a variety of colors. I'm using Vintage White, Traverse City Cherry, Virginia Chestnut, and Chesapeake Blue. I'm adding Beckley Coal and Michigan Pine over the top of my existing colors so I can rub the color back with a damp cloth. A cut up t-shirt is perfect for this. Just dip it in water and gently rub back the edges where you want to see the color underneath. Look at that, gold metallic wax. It's brand new from CC Caldwell. It's gold and it's metallic and it's good. And all you have to do is just stick your finger in it or you can use a brush like this. CC Caldwell now has gold and silver metallic wax and it's completely non-toxic. You can apply it with your finger wherever you want to add a little sparkle. Wait for the wax to dry and then buff it with a soft cloth. And it's gorgeous. The very last step is to tie a ribbon through the top. I attach small eye hooks to each ornament and I made a wood bow from cabinet tape. If you want more details on making this bow, watch my wreath video from a few weeks ago. The link is below. like this video subscribe I make new ones every week and that's it I will see you in the next video for the extended tutorial and to purchase CC Caldwell products visit my website or click the link below to find out where it is sold in your area thanks for watching